What comes to your mind when you hear the word church? Is it the picture of a big historical monument? Is it maybe a, a group or an institution or an organization that provides aid for people that are in need? Or might it be the idea of a social club where people come in and have a good time? In this video, I'm going to answer the question as, uh, of uh, what is church, why it's important for a Christian to go to church, what are the impacts or what are the effects of a Christian who doesn't go to church? I interviewed four people who will answer these questions. So church, what is church and what is it about? Well, most importantly, the church is not a physical thing, it's a spiritual thing. It is where the saints convene. It's an institution set up by God so as people may gather fellowship, exhort one each other in the word of God, and to worship our Holy Lord. Church, church is not something... A church can be in a house, it can be in a church building, it can be, it can be anywhere. Church is... Church can be two people, it can be a thousand people. As long as two or more people are in my name, I will be there. It says that in the Bible. And so, this, this is worship. And of course, not everyone who preaches in the name of the Lord, or who say they preach in the name of the Lord, are part of the church. The church is is the body of true believers i mean that means that there may be people at church who are not part of the church that's an interesting thing to say the least and church is something where where people people grow in the faith where it's not for the righteous but for the humble, it's not for the perfect, but for the sinner. Church is a beautiful thing. Well, why it's important for a Christian to go to church is so that we can be fed spiritually by the pastor who is qualified and that we could also uh, all reunite and gather as uh, saints all together and, and uh, edify each other and uh, help each other grow and also to follow scripture that says that we should not forsake the assembly, that we should all gather uh, together as a, uh, a church and a one body. So Christians should go to church because uh, number one, we're commanded by God to assemble. Um, we see that throughout the Old Testament and that idea of gathering together, the called out ones, the church, the ecclesia, they're, you know, we're to come together in, in like manner that they that they did back in the old covenant time so that doesn't change so god has always uh, uh regenerated his people and would have them assemble together and carry out worship and so number one it's a commandment of god to do that and if it's not direct if you don't find it directly commanded it's definitely implicitly commanded by just the things we're called to do by loving one another a loving God, which falls into the first two commandments, the most important one, loving God. So we're going to obey God if we love him and loving our neighbor. We can't do that if we're not together. And what better place to do that than the local church? Within the Christian uh, body, we have the saying, uh, solos cristianos es nulos cristianos, which is a, a saying that means one Christian is no Christian at all. And a part of gathering together is actually to fellowship with one another. Um, we have to keep each other accountable and we have to uh, encourage one another in the faith. And so gathering is only a small contribu contribution to that. And uh, in the Bible, we're called to love God with all of our minds, our souls, our, our bodies, everything that we have, and to love him with our mind is to study and invest ourselves um, in learning who he is and in his scriptures he Amen. proclaims who he is and so to meditate on that and to learn about that publicly with the church is a contribution to that cause okay good and what would happen to a christian who doesn't go to church for example 
A uh, Christian who doesn't go to church would be going against God's word. So for it says in Hebrews to not forsake the assembly. And uh, also the Bible clearly states that uh, we are one body and we should all gather together and, uh, and uh, fellowship and edify one another. And, uh, and that we are, we, are, we are one body and not, uh, we are many parts, but one body. So we must all be together. And though I believe that some Christians don't go to church, it is pure foolishness, pure foolishness to say, if you do, if you are a Christian, but do not go to church, find a church. For it'll be your spiritual growth, it'll be your friend group, and it'll be your means of growing and being strong in the faith. So it's easy to uh, fall away in a sense, not that you could lose your salvation, but to... Um, to lose one, first of all, the habits that you create within mm -hmm. the body, to, to forget how to study. Um, and also different people in the body have different gifts. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. to, uh, to rely on one another is, uh, is the way a body works, right? So mm -hmm. like a body has arms and legs. And so um, a body cannot work perfectly without uh, yeah. its collective. So let's summarize the question and answers in this video. What is church? The church is the called out assembly, the people of God, the ecclesia. From all over history, the people who believed in Christ solely, that Christ died for their sins, who rose again from the grave, who ascended back to heaven, and he will come back one day and establish his kingdom on earth, and his church will glorify him and worship him. That's the church. Why it's important for a Christian to go to church? Simply because we need each other. Uh, we because we love God and God commands us to assemble, uh, to to yeah to get together to gather together a life together. And remember that because we love God, therefore it will follow to love our neighbors. We encourage each other. We we benefit from each other. We supply one another. And why? What would be the effect? the effect or the impacts of a Christian who doesn't go to church, well, first of all, he would go against God's word. And remember this sentence, solas cristianos es nulos cristianos. A Christian who decides to live a life alone is no Christian at all. A Christian who lives alone is like a soldier who goes to war alone. We cannot battle. We can't, we can't compete with the enemy. But remember this, that all of this, okay, the reason why God wants us to be together, the reason why there is a church, it's all for His glory. God wants a people for Himself, His creature to know Him, His creature to love Him the same way He loves His creature. That's the church.